everyone, hope you're all well and having a great week so far. So thought I would do a bit of a home renovation update because the build has well and truly begun. Yay! There is dust everywhere, like more dust than you could ever possibly imagine. But I still feel really, really happy and very lucky that we are finally getting to renovate our house. So I've got loads to tell you. We've been knocking down walls, taking out bathrooms, ripping up floors. Finally managed to decide on the floor for the downstairs of the house. A big thank you to all of you who gave me lots of advice and ideas on flooring in the last video I did on my um, home renovation. It was really, really helpful actually. And I definitely listened to all the advice, took it on board. And so we've decided against the polished concrete floor and we're going with wood floor. Finding the perfect wood floor is a whole other matter. As you can see, my bedroom alone is now half the size with a freshly plastered wall behind me. It's all really quickly coming together. So loads of different things to show you, plus all the different interiors I've been buying in this past week. Hopefully you'll love them too. But first, we as a family are popping to one of my best friend's houses who lives about 10 minutes away. Now they converted a beautiful barn a few years ago and it is absolutely stunning. She's got such a knack for interior design and gardens too actually, which she's got into recently. And she's very kindly said that I could take my camera along today so that I and you can hopefully get lots of beautiful interiors inspiration. So I'm gonna go finish up getting ready and then we'll pop over to Sheena's house. So you put a new patio down. What is this that you went for? Uh, this is an Indian sandstone. It's Indian. called Raj, yeah, Raj Green. It's like a large format. Okay, it's beautiful. Look at that. Just about to have the barbecue. Why did you go for that one over anything else? We've got the church there. So it kind of goes with the... Oh, to pair in the stone? Yes, absolutely. Ah. Look at you, thoughtful villager. <laughs> and these, I, I, it's a shame actually they've, they've gone now, but they're yeah. giant alliums, is that right? So these are Allium Christophi. Okay. And then the grasses are Cesleria autumnalis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we've got... I so know what you're on about. And then we've got Amphulcar geranium. Which one's that? The the purple flowers. Yes. Okay. So that's kind of just like kind of just kind of creeps through and grows through all the all the grasses. Um, like you say, the alliums are finished now, and then we've got this really lovely, which we've got over there, which is the daisy. Oh, I like this pink and white in there, and I love these ones that you've got. So yeah, this is agapanthus, or the other name is African lily. That is beautiful. Let me stand back a bit so you can get the full yes, impression. Yeah. They look really nice either side of the main entrance <laughs> yeah. cool. nice pots as well i've yeah. been looking for some big pots that was a garden trading a few years ago oh really yeah so here we've got salvia which actually they're not their best they need kind of uh, uh, dead which is the salvia the ones with the spiky things okay nemorosa caradonna i hope no one's listening that knows about <laughs> gardens <laughs> You sound I'm, like you know what you're talking I'm about. I'm probably getting all the pronunciations wrong. Doesn't matter. And that geranium, and then there's geranium Patricia, which is the pink one. Got funny names. I've never had geraniums before, but someone introduced me to them and I absolutely love them. And then that tree, which is a bit swamped at the minute from the perennials, is called a wedding cake tree. This one in the middle? Yes, because when it grows, it's very slow growing, but it grows in layers. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's really beautiful. It looks gorgeous though. And this is new, isn't it? Yeah, new oak, green oak pergola. And then that was where your table was, which David stole yes. because he's doing a DJ set here this afternoon, yeah. which is a long story, but Don't anyway. Don't look at my newly planted beech hedge because it's been a bit dry. It kind of leafed and we had a really hard frost and then it's been really hot. Um, that's another wedding cake one then? That's the wedding cake tree. Oh wow, okay. So it's called Cornus Controversa. Woohoo! After a Prosecco, I definitely can't yeah. say that. Oh, and then your walled garden section into your... That's kind of your snug area, isn't it? That yeah, bit? that's kind of... And at night time, it's all like lovely. We've got loads of uplighters and spotlights. It looks really nice. And now, shall we take a look at the house? Yeah, go on then. Let's, let's go and have a look.
So from Sheena's amazing looking house to our work in progress, let me bring you up to speed where we've got to and what we've done so far. So this is the original layout. We had a living room that was quite long that we've actually chopped in two, through to the dining room and then the kitchen on the other side. We've all had a good go bashing down that wall. It was very therapeutic. And then you can really appreciate the space you're going to get once those walls had come down. We took out the cloakroom in the hallway to create even more space. And then we're just gonna put a piece of glass in that side panel so it's really lovely and light. Then the bathroom's got ripped out. Don't panic, I am definitely not keeping those tiles. And a lovely big bath will just sit underneath that window. Then it was on to plastering, which does actually make it feel more like a proper room, um, albeit a very, very messy one. But it's a lovely big space that I think will work really nicely for us as a family. So this is the current situation. We have walls, which is a good start. And I was just having a look at some different paint options. So this one here is called Elephant's Breath. Uh, that's by Fur and Ball. And you've got corn fourth white, which is the one I think I'm going to go for. It's really easy if I stand like that. That one is by Little Green and it's called Rolling Fog Original. It's quite dark, but we had it in our old house and it was really nice actually. And then the one on the end is Ammonite um, by Fire and Ball again. So that's quite a cool grey. That feels a bit warmer and they're kind of going on a whole different train of thought. So I'm not sure yet which one. Obviously not quite ready for finishing touches, but I've never been one for practicality. So I bought a plant yesterday. I've been looking for one of these tall uh, plants for a while and I'd found a fiddle leaf. Um, I can't remember what on website, but it was about 150 pounds. So they weren't cheap and then popped to Ikea and this was 35 pounds. So pretty chuffed with that. David's good at keeping the plants alive in our house, so hopefully he can save that one. So yeah, that is where we've got to in the open plan kitchen, living, dining room. And then the hallway is looking delightful, as you can see. If I just turn around here. So we need to decide on our floor, um, which we think we're going for wood floor now. Um, probably in Chevron design, thinking of getting a new carpet because I really don't like the carpet, and then obviously paints on the walls. I think I'm going to go with Cornforth White because I like it. And I keep painting it in various areas to check what it will look like. That's the kitchen cupboards um, and the sample of the curtains because that really helps me decide. So a few things I've purchased in this last week. Inside here is the pendant light that's gonna go over the dining room table um, in the open plan kitchen living dining room. I think it's beautiful, hopefully you agree. It's a little bit different. So the brand is called Tala and I went for the style called Veroni 2, which is essentially just the size of it. And if I open the box here, you can see one amazing bulb. I absolutely love it. Imagine if I dropped it now, I'd be crying. It's quite an unusual shape, but I think just that one bulb hanging over the dining room table as a feature light um, will look absolutely beautiful. So I'm really, really pleased with that. And obviously finding an independent brand creating something quite original is really exciting. Now for the bulb holder, you can choose between brass, graphite, oak and walnut so we decided to go for the oak um, because i think that will match the floor the best we bought some garden furniture which i painstakingly put together it doesn't quite look how it was meant to look according to the picture but i figure look it's two sofas it's going to do the job that we need it to do it's fine really can't be bothered to dismantle it all and put it back together again in the right way. I found some really lovely lanterns that I think I'm going to get for the garden but will also work nicely in the house. They were by Le Redoute, I think it's their own interior range called AMPM which actually has some really nice pieces. The other thing I wanted to show you was our beautiful tiles that have arrived. This is going to be for the master bathroom and the two boys en suites. I had no participation in choosing the tiles whatsoever. It was David's jurisdiction designing all the bathrooms and he has done so in a complete man cave style. <laughs> but do you know what? As long as I've got a nice big bath, I will be fine with whatever he has created. 
The other thing I bought was a lovely new barbecue. And this was slightly practical of me as well. We didn't have one, we chucked our old one away when we left the old house. And the kitchen has just come out today and the new one won't be put back in until probably a week and a half's time. So we would have no oven, no grill, anything to cook on. So it was practical, we can just have barbecues for a week and a half but we also need one anyway. So I went with a Weber barbecue because apparently they're really good. Not being an expert in barbecues, kind of had to follow Sheena's lead on that one. I popped to Loaf to get some ideas for my office stroke snug. I think I've decided to go for this style, which is called pudding, but as a love seat. Um, so the chair is roughly half the size of that sofa. So big enough for me and one of my children to snuggle up and have a cuddle. But I also think on its own in that room with my desk, I think it would look quite nice and cozy as well. I wasn't really meant to be shopping for beds, but I found this one, which I think is lovely. It looks so comfortable and I do need a headboard. So I'm gonna have to try and convince David on that one. And then I found this beautiful coffee table. I really love that wood, but then with the concrete resin top, I think it's a really nice contrast. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed catching up where we've got to with our home renovation. It is madness, but I'm still really, really excited to be getting it done. On Sunday, I have a beautiful new haul to share with you from one of my absolute favorite brands. So I'm very, very excited. For you to see that. You've probably got an inkling which brand it is but do come back on Sunday to see everything I bought and my ridiculously tough face as I open them. Have a wonderful week and I shall see you on Sunday. Take care.